All right, well, on this house, we got three people working and they have just got started laying things out. Today is July the 3rd. I asked them, could a video? And they said, yeah, no problem. Go right ahead. I haven't entered into the conversation of could they beat the Amish work crew, but I may do that later after they get it. See how fast they are, right? Because right now you can't tell. They could be really fast or who knows. All right. Yep, they're just putting the, the seal board down. That's where he's cutting short pieces over there. This guy's working on this side. Hey, like I said, here comes a motorcycle. <laughs> I think the last time I videoed this, I seen a motorcycle come by. Oh, he's turned around going the other way. I think I know that guy. Yeah, I know where he lives, actually. Yeah, he got a little cattle wrench. All right. Vista Lane, and yet another house being built on my bike path, bike ride layout. The way I go from Ozark to Rogersville, I'm coming back on this road, and uh, for the life of me, I can't think of the name of it. But there's a uh, on the left up there where that big tree is on top of the hill. There's a big graveyard right there. Um, yeah, boy. They got it going on. I guess I'll watch this one be built over the few months and see what happens with it. But I'm on Vista Lane, and um, for the life of me, I can't think of the name of this road. I don't, I don't keep up with extraneous faxes like I once did. I let things go pretty quick and pretty easy. And if I don't know something, I can look it up and figure it out and so I don't I don't worry about it but when you're making a video and you you know people are expecting you to know the you know what road you're on and what you know where this intersection is so they can you know if they want to look at it and they're going well hell he don't even know the road well, get over it let go of some stuff there's things that we we know and there's things we don't now this brings me into flat earth. I'm saying this about it. Something's up with it. There's too much traffic on the internet. There's too many videos getting too many views. Hollow earth, same thing. It's been around way longer than flat earth as far as, you know, going back to 2005, 2006, but so you got a round earth, a ball earth, you got a hollow earth that has to kind of go around a ball, but it can be hollow earth on a flat earth. Either way, you got one without a dome and you got one with a dome. So I'm not saying I believe in any of it. I actually believe that Mara is this illusion of this reality is, is what it is. It's neither flat nor solid uh, nor round. It's way beyond our human comprehension of what we even are in. Um, the Course in Miracles uh, always resonated with me at the very beginning of my awakening of how true the illusion is. And of course the teaching of Buddha came to me really quick. Not that it's the end of all and I'm not a Buddhist. It's just a word, the Buddha. It means they're awake, the awakening, or the awakened one. And it don't mean I'm totally awake, because if I was totally awake, like I've said before, I'd be out of here. That's probably the process that I was at in 2003, four, and and five. I was in a state of uh, a Zen Buddha uh, separation from reality for quite a while, and. Um, I could have, I could have literally opened a door and walked out of this plane, but I chose to be a bodhisattva and come back in and play it uh, in a way of playing a lucid in a dream. Now I've been practicing it for a long time, and I'm not, I'm not nowhere close to being any good at it. I can accidentally do it on occasions and really get good insight into what's going on in the 
reality of the collective consciousness. But now, the, this has thrown a monkey ranch into all of it. In other words, the energy field of the collective is is like growing, but at the same time, there's part of it co collapsing and, and retracting and going back and going backwards. And so I'm watching that and I'm feeling it. And um, it's so the videos I post sometimes, you know, they may say, you may think, well, he believes this, he believes that. <clears throat> No, I don't. I don't. I'm not falling into no hole, no trap. I'm not uh, giving up something that I thought I really knew unless I got to, and I've done done that many times. There's stuff that's just not worth holding on to. But I've done rambled on long enough. There's no conclusion to how um, I feel about flat earth, hollow earth, and round earth. But I'm going to tell you this, I'm going to keep my eye on this. Something is very interesting and very up with it. And um, I can't put my finger on exactly, so I can't tell you, yes, I know what it is. No, I don't know what it is. And that's a good thing. If, if I did want to try to explain something to you and tell you that I knew it, that's kind of danger you know, getting in, into believing somebody else's thought patterns. Is not good. You got to have your own ability to think for your own self while we still got a chance and we still can hang on to our, our memories and our thoughts. And that's even when the veil comes down, that's even going away. In other words, there won't be no private thoughts. We all be thinking with the mind of Christ in whatever form you take that to be as uh, truth many different ways of seeing the <laughs> the singularity all right that's enough <laughs>
Please like us and share with your social media. Please subscribe and click the bell to be notified of our new videos. Stay tuned. This video is Creative Commons. You have permission to download, copy, and distribute it.